Well, it's a first in the Valley racing event to honor, empower, and motivate wounded veterans. We're talking about the Arizona Spring and Super Weekend hosted by Operation Enduring Warrior. Operation Enduring Warrior is a volunteer organization composed of current and former military members. And this morning, we are lucky enough to have several members join us live here on the couch to talk about this new event. So first of all, let's just go around and maybe introduce yourself, sir. My name is Ed Sallow. retired uh, from the Army in 2005 because of my injuries in the war. Jeff Farmer, I retired, um, retired healthy uh, after 20 years in the Army. Uh, Marcus Chile, retired United States Marine Corps. Uh, Norby Lara, uh, United States Army. All right, and this is Zoe, right? Yes, and you are, sir? Jonathan Lopez, United States Army. So, so Norby, talk to me about what is this all about today? Well, this morning we are taking uh, two of our honorees uh, through a Spartan course. Uh, we, are, we are doing the uh, sprint this morning. Our, our wait time is 8.45, and our job is to get them through the obstacle course safely. So what does that entail? What do you mean when you say get them through the obstacle course safely? You guys kind of all have to work as a team to, to do really incredible obstacles. We're seeing the video right now. Talk to me about what that entails. Well, what it entails is us um, providing assistance wherever they need. We don't do the obstacle course race for them, but we are there just in case they need uh, any assistance through the course. And we also make sure that they, they uh, maneuver the, the course safely. Uh, so if they're doing anything unsafe while they're doing that, then we make sure that we, they do it safely. Uh, we want to finish as a team and uh, safely. What are some of the different obstacles that they'll have to go through today? Uh, you know, there's, there's uh, walls they have to, to get over. Um, there's a net. There's, there's uh, all kinds of different uh, things that are, would be challenging. Our, our, uh, the good thing about Operation Enduring Warrior is we, we try and give them opportunities to do things they never thought possible. And watching this video, I mean, this is, I mean, all of these are incredible things that you guys are doing. And uh, what is that like when you actually finish this really grueling race? What is that like? Ed, do you want to speak to that? Sure. Um, I mean, you're conquering challenges. It's, uh, it just translates to everyday life. If, uh, if it's me or if it's a younger guy or gal and they got to get a job interview and win a job interview against people who haven't been horribly injured or whatever, it's just it's confidence builder. Yeah. I get to the top of the rope and I ring the bell. <laughs> what does that feel like? I mean, it's, uh, it, you know, I conquered it. It's, yeah. you know, I feel the victory. So this is all happening today. You said the today. race starts at 8.45, so I'm, I thank you guys for coming in so <laughs> early before you have to do this grueling race. Uh, where's the race going to be held? Uh, it is held at uh, Fort McDowell Rodeo Grounds okay. uh, this morning. Are folks allowed to come watch you guys? They can uh, get spectator uh, passes if, if they want to. Um, we would love to see people out there. We'd love to get uh, people out there and cheering, cheering them on uh, before they get out there on the course. And if people are watching maybe at home and saying, you know, I'd like to get in, involved or help in any way, shape, or form, can they do that? And how can they get in hold of Absolutely. You? They can go to EnduringWarrior.org and they can uh, find out a lot of information about us and, and get involved. Sir, we haven't talked to you. What's kind of going through your head? This race is coming up here in just a couple of hours. What's kind of going through your head as you prepare for this? Uh, you know, this is a, an introductory to uh, Operation Enduring Warrior. Uh, this will be my first Spartan race. So I've done previous races before, uh, but nothing as challenging as this. Yeah. Um, and as they said, this is, you know, totally a confidence builder to bring into aspect, you know, some of the, the harder things that, you know, some of us endure uh, with, with injuries coming back from both Iraq and Afghanistan. Uh, so, you know, I, I'm, I'm excited more than anything, uh, so I, I think I'll do pretty well. Well, best of luck. And real quick, about 30 seconds, Zoe races as well. You carry yes, her through the course. Yes, sir. Tell me about that. Well, she started racing with us about a year ago. Um, she's a big part of my life. And one day I went to a race and I was like, you know, she takes she pretty much she pulls me through so much. Why not take her with us? She, uh, she loves it. She goes out there. Um, motivates a lot of people. I you know, bet. Like her job is actually like, well, as we pass people and people are tired or sitting yep. down, she pretty much gets in your face and starts licking your face. <laughs> it's impossible to be sad after a puppy licks your face. She's resting up for her big race, clearly. Oh, yes. So, well, best of luck to all of you guys today. Again, yeah. thank you guys for coming on. So earlier this morning before your big race today, we'll be cheering you on. Yeah, thank you. Right, thank best you. of luck, thank you. We'll be right back.